Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you, for some unknown odd reason, I'm bringing away from machine shop tactics and terminology to get back into gold pricing. For some unknown reason, I just have a yen to show you what the price of gold in penny weight is. I've been watching these videos uh, on the gold prospectors, and one of them has a, <laughs> a penchant for using uh, penny weight uh, calibration on his scale. I don't know why, but I just seem to want to have to convert it into grams. So today I thought I'd just find out the price of gold in penny weight and show you how it's done. Now, the current spot price of gold is roughly 1231.45 and 45 cents. And this is based on 31.103 grams, the troy ounce in grams. Currently, that's giving you the gram price per gram at $39.59. Now, one penny weight is worth 1.55173 grams. And I wanted to find out how many penny weight there are in a troy ounce in terms of the gram of value for the troy ounce. And it's a very simple process. You just take one penny weight, diagonally cross multiply it with the 31103, the x with the 1.55173 and to get the x by itself you simply divide out the 1.55173 out of each side so that leaves 20 penny weight to each troy ounce and when I went back and looked at the Wikipedia article on penny weight it showed exactly that, that one penny weight is one twentieth of a troy ounce. So there's 20 penny weights in a troy ounce. So now it's very easy to find out the penny weight uh, price of gold. You just simply take the current spot price, as we've said above, $1,200.30. $1,231.45 and divide it by 20 penny weight. And that gives you a dollar value in for $61.57 for every penny weight of gold. So that, say, if you had 10, 10 penny weights of gold, that would be. <laughs> $615.70. And that's not a bad chunk of change, guys. So whether you do it in grams or whether you do it in penny weight, yeah, the calculation's simple to convert it. So hope this helps you. Gives you a little more uh, work in working in um, uh, proportions so it makes it easier on you and that should be better just remember to diagonally cross multiply your terms when you're doing proportions and then you'll be fine this is your machine shop math guy signing off <laughs>